Hello. For three months, every time I tried playing games on my PC, my screen would freeze and required a hard power restart. I will tell you what steps you can take to fix the permanent screen freezing problem and what fixed my problem, which I assume is the case for you too. I searched all over the interweb for a solution and I couldn't find a fix for my case. This is very important, listen to me, watch the whole video before you attempt any of the fixes I'm going to show you. Because I'm going to assume you already tried a fix from another video or a forum thread about screen freezing, some of my steps will make other guides redundant. I'm going to go from simple obvious fix to complex fixes. Fix number one, I bet you obviously tried this update your drivers. I use a third party program called Driver Booster. It's free. You can uh, free download. And once you download it, you can run it. And you'll do a scan and it'll tell you what driver you need to update. Just press update all of them. Now, have you already updated your drivers? Try rolling back to a previous driver version. You can do this to your graphics card. Go to Device Manager, Properties, Device Manager. Go to Display Adapters. You'll choose your graphics card that you're using. Go to Driver, roll back the driver. This will go back to a previous driver version which might work. If it did not work, just go back to the latest version. Uh, fix number two, CCleaner. This can get rid of temp files and a lot of unwanted files that can be causing issues. CCleaner is free. Uh, free download. It's simple to use, just and run it, analyze, and then run the run C cleaner, and this will uh, get rid of all the temporary files that your computer was using, but you don't need it, and you'll create a lot of space for you. Fix number three: Do you think your RAM could be causing this? Well, there is a way to check if anything is wrong with your RAM. Simply go to or type Windows Memory Diagnostic. Some it's much easier instead of going to Control Panel. Type in Windows Memory Diagnostic here. It'll come up. Restart now and check for problems. Once you press this, it will try to find if there's any problem with your RAM, and it will let you know. Fix number four. Go to Power and Sleep Settings. You can go to you, you can go to this by control panel or simply type it. Typing it is much easier. Power and sleep. Power and sleep settings. You go additional power settings. And then you press high performance. You press it here and then you check it. If it's the problem still happens, come back. Change plan settings on the balance. Change advanced power settings. On the hard disk, turn off hard disk after put this as zero. Zero, it will come up as never or something. Just press zero, apply, cross it out, test it. If the problem still happens, come back. Go to process power management. Minimum processor state, put it at 99% power and put the maximum power state at 99% as well. Apply, cross it out. Now, if this fix did not work for you, come back here, go back to wherever you changed. Uh, I did balance, uh, restore default settings for this plan. Just put it all in default settings before you go to another fix. Fix number five, 
Now, fix 5 involves fixing your Windows operating system. I was really desperate to fix my screen freezing problem and I did contact Windows customer service. You can as well by going to their website. Windows customer support. Contact us, Microsoft support. Contact support. And you can chat with them. They can take control of your screen and do some troubleshooting. Sounds great, right? But they never fixed my issue because the screen freezing was happening randomly, maybe 20 30 minutes into the game. Sometimes the customer service don't have enough time to stick with you that long. Okay, back to the fix. Go to settings. Go to update and security. Go to recovery and press uh, under advanced startup, press restart now. Uh, it will do a bit of a loading and then you press troubleshoot. You go advanced options and press startup repair. This will fix your operating system. Now, system restore will reload your entire system to what it was like maybe a week or a month ago depending what you choose I did system restore and it didn't solve my problem <laughs> made it worse by corrupting my files so if just stick with maybe startup repair you can try system restore if you're desperate uh, fix number six hard windows factory reset Go to settings, update and security, recovery, and press get started, reset this PC. You can keep all your documents, notepads, PowerPoints, or you could remove everything. It's just a complete factory reset, brand new. Um, once you do this step, uh, com factory reset and the problem still persists you can safely assume that the screen freezing issue is hardware related fix number seven underclock your CPU you can skip this fix I found someone fixed their screen freezing issue by doing this fix but it didn't fix my screen freezing problem <laughs> if you're desperate you can try this I did it this step is really hard to show because you have to go to your BIOS and change the CPU ratio. Just search up a video on YouTube how to underclock the CPU you have and also type what motherboard you're using. Fix number 8. This fix solved my screen freezing issue. Please watch closely. Type P E R F M O N space slash report enter and this will do a system diagnostic you can also do that in run by the way so you know your run yeah you can type that perform p e r f m o n space slash report and then press ok or you could just simply do what i did now this will take a minute and it will compile some reports I will skip to when it does compile. Okay, it finished compiling. This shows you any hardware that can possibly be causing problems. Uh, well, it tells you operation checks, operation system check is passed, this check is passed. If any of them is not passed, then you know where your problem is. But you can uh, simply check if the hardware problem. You can check if it's anything related to your motherboard or y yeah, CPU here. If anything's wrong with your CPU, if nothing is wrong, which I assume it will be, like it will tell you nothing is wrong because it's a screen freeze. You will have to go to Event Viewer. E V E N T V I E W E R Event Viewer. 
go to Windows logs go to system now my problem happened in uh, 2018 around December your one will be recent and it will be on the top or you could just filter it but my one happened in December ish you want to look for critical you want to look for critical errors not errors not information you want to find critical level is critical because that's where your computer freezes or shuts down here my one there's a critical here and the source is kernel power if kernel power is almost always related to the power supply this is a critical error that my computer logged now uh, at this point if you could if your problem is critical and it's saying the source is kernel power it's 100% your problem is your power supply uh, at that time I was using a Aero Cool VX 700 it's a 700 watts power supply I had it for uh, three years and the warranty ran out um, it starts messing up you know I bought a new power supply it, it's a 550 watt from Antec it has a seven year warranty so if you find this error and like critical and the source is kernel power by the event viewer it's definitely your power supply problem replace your power supply buy a gold rated power supply don't buy a bronze rated and if you only have like one GPU just buy a 500 watt power supply now uh, to replace the power supply if you know how to put two Lego pieces together you can replace a computer's computer's power supply just watch a video on uh, how to connect power supply like it's very easy don't spend like 60 100 bucks getting someone else to f put a new power supply in your PC M maybe you can also get like a relative or a friend to do it everybody's doing like everybody's installing PC parts themselves these days don't pay 60 100 bucks to get someone else to do it for me I I got my friend's power supply and I tested it on my PC first I wasn't experiencing any more screen freezing and I 100% knew okay so <laughs> it's a it's the power supply problem if any of this uh, fixes helped you uh, please do subscribe to me uh, I'm trying to get subscriber counts up I won't bother you none of my videos will bother you. you don't have to watch any of my videos just just press subscribe and forget about me I hope this video helped you